this mistake when you come to the Gulf countries. Most of you, you've done the same mistake. And this is the only time for us to take out a wipe of this mistake. And we completely get out of it in our minds. And that is what we call regarding what we call salaries and regarding what we call discussing what we call how much you should be paid in what we call an interview. Most of us will make mistakes when it comes to how much we should be paid when it comes to our salary or when it comes to the kind of service that we are giving. Welcome to Max Creation. Remember, if it's your first time coming on this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because you'll always be updated whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for the new subscriber, for the returning subscribers. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes, when it comes to salary in the Gulf countries, I know most of us would not get that opportunity to have an interview face to face with what we call the recruiter or the sponsor. We are normally using agents, agents that keep on directing to us, keep on lying to us and give us expectations or give us over exaggerated figures of the reality of what we are supposed to earn or what we are going to earn. Then at the end of it all, we find ourselves being trapped up or being trapped in a scenario that we cannot go out at hand. Yes, let's say for example this is an opportunity that is given to you to ask how much you are paid up or how much you expect. I know most of you have gone to these jobs, especially for people who are inside Qatar and you're moving from one company to a company you want to change sponsor and you are given an opportunity to ask or they ask you a question, how much do you expect as your salary? Yes, and most of you, you've made mistakes and you've made mistakes. At the end of the talk, when you get to realize that you've made that mistake, it's too late that that sponsor already has you. And you have to finish up either his contract or you have to terminate and exit the country or you have to pay him in what we call you to compensate what kind of expenses that he spent on you, which is not the case. So let us try to wipe up this. Let us try to clear this right from here. And it's from only next question that's going to tell you the problem on how you to go about this. Remember in Qatar we have two types of promotions. Professions we have what you call the skilled professions and the unskilled professions. Okay, now let me talk about what you call the unskilled profession. That you have your salary is ranging from 1,000 to a salary that is going to be ranging to around 2,500 or to around 4,000 or to around 3,500. Let's give up that range. Because when you earn the salary of 5000 and above here in Qatar, you are entitled to what you call, you can sponsor a family. From that startup salary, you can sponsor. But we are looking at a salary that you are not yet able to sponsor a family. Or you are not able to bring your wife or your kids to come here. You are still on that level that is giving you a low salary. But how do you definitely discuss about that salary when you go to that Italy? Remember, something that you cannot forget is what we call the basic salary. The basic salary is 1,500. It's 1,300. That is for eight hours, which includes food allowance. And if you are given 1,500, then that means that salary you are given is going to include what you call the housing. But remember, when we are talking most of the Gulf countries for unskilled job, they normally give what you call accommodation. So meaning that your salary range is going to be starting from 1,300, which includes the salary for eight hours. It's also going to include the extra token added money, which is the food allowance, which is of 300. So that's where you should begin discussing from. This is a scenario that you go to an interviewer, you expect, he ask you how much do you expect. Yes, tell him rightly that I expect this amount of money, excluding my food allowance and excluding my housing or excluding my transportation. It is something very short. But you say, I want a basic salary of 3,000, okay? Then a basic salary of 3,000. Then, but, but you've not talked about even what you call the working hours. Okay, let us see a situation whereby you tell this employer or this sponsor that I need a total package of 5,000 for eight hours. How does it sound? I think it sounds a little bit very good and sounds professional and sounds very good. Simple for the, for the sponsor or the employer to understand and for you to make sure that you don't fall into what you call the trap or what is will be after you'll end up regretting of what you, you did, or what you not do. Yes, he'll say I'll give you the basic salary of 3,000, but I'm not giving you housing. 
Because remember that basic salary is also inclusive as per the labor law. 1,000 is includes 1,500 includes also what you call the housing allowance. If you are going to get 1,800, 300 for food allowance, then 500 for house. But again, something also you need to understand is the working hours. How much? How many hours are you working? Yes, I want a full package of 4,000. I'm working eight hours or I'm working nine hours or I'm working 10 hours or 12 hours depending on what you're happy and this should exclude the housing allowance and should exclude the transportation allowance meaning that this employer needs to add you on top of that for what you call transportation and also food allowance in you if they say, begin to discuss in what you call your offer letter or to discuss in what you call your employment offer that is given to you but be straightforward we end up getting small bonuses at the end of our service because the basic salary is low. Why not given an opportunity in a new recruit that you talk about a full package, that I'm working for nine hours for you and I need a package of 3,500, which excludes transportation and accommodation. That means you leave the transportation and accommodation to your sponsor or to your employer to, search, to take care of that. So for yourself, you'll have that block figure, you'll have that block figure of 3,500 to cater, to take care of your big baked needs and to take care of your food. So meaning that you become the winner there in one or the other. You take it all. But you discuss, I want a full package of 3,500 without mentioning, excluding. He'll give you the 3,500. You sign up the contract. Then you ask for housing allowance. He says, no, we did not mention that. You said you want a full package of 3,500, meaning that the 3,500 is going to take care of your transportation and is going to take care of your accommodation. All he needs you to come is to come and do the work. He needs you to come and do the work. That is the difference between the two, the basic salary and the full package. So be straightforward to him. Tell him exactly what you want. It's going to better you and it's going to make you move a little bit in one way or the other. Thank you so much for coming back today. Remember, it's next. And remember, he will always give you all the updates and give you all the interesting things you need to know. When you're coming for these jobs in the ground, I know it's not very easy in any way or the other. We find we will mock through a lot of difficulties. We will find a lot of situations. We find too many things. But it's better to live and understand. Get to share this information. Then it's going to help you out. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. Remember, it's next from the Malcolm Mix. Endless Inspiration and Next Creation TV and my TikTok account, Next Creation TV. You can also uh, see a lot of things there we can find about the labor law and what definitely you need to do or what you need to go through when you find a problem. Thank you so much. See you again.